This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Don't give a what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time and attack. Hey guys, welcome to the Wrestling Mayhem Show 654 Tuesdays. We've been talking about professionalized wrestling. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in Pittsburgh, PA, at the Sorgatron Media Studios, we got a hell of a show going on. Mayhem Mania coming on uh, later on, and uh, I'm going to uh, learn about a special event happening here in the greater Pittsburgh area. But first of all, down the Rogues Gallery here, back on the show, we'll get in a little bit about what happened last night and, and why he maybe picked the wrong night off. Mad Mike is with us from Beacon, New York, the only Mayhemer with a feature endeavor letter from the WWE. Sorg, I've watched roughly 1,341 episodes of Raw Live. Okay. Wow. Roughly. 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 More or less. Give or take. More or less. Um, I pick one week. One week, Sorg, to take a break There's from a visual. my mental health. There's definitely a visual to this. And all I can say... <laughs> Go that, fuck yourselves. That is a that is a Thanos um size middle finger. Uh okay. <laughs> Anyways, back with us. That was making other life decisions. Larry is back with us in here today. Hi, I also took a mental health. You took a mental health break last, last night. night. And we're like, what did I do? Yeah, I was able to catch part of it though. So it was a holiday. That's okay. You get you like went to the bar or something. I didn't did. You? I you went and got like... drunk instead. <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> okay. I guess it was a happy President's Day. I yes. guess, right? It was all forty-four of them. It was it was a Monday. It was a good Monday. It was a good Monday. <laughs> uh, and also with us, we have the crew from Pit Fight coming up here in a few weeks. Here, it's going. We have uh, Cornell, Sam, and Kyle in that order. If you're you're joining us visually uh, with the Pit Fight event that's coming up in Greensburg, PA, it's part of the Pit Campus, Greensburg, out there, right, guys? Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, what date is that that's, that's coming up? That is Thursday, March 7th. There you go. And uh, you can check that out on Facebook and the Instagram for Pit Fight. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit, little bit more about it uh, uh, here on the show. Did, did you guys watch Raw last night? Because apparently that was a hit or miss for some people. Yeah, we watched it all right. Oh, yeah, we did. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. <laughs> we'll get into that here in a moment. Uh, but thank you guys for joining us. And of course, like I said, Mayhem Mania, uh, Mainstream Man, I'm sure, is uh, watching the show unsafely on his phone on the way over here right now. Uh, he might have to share a mic with him when he pops in, Larry. That's fine. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll substitute. You'll substitute? I'll you, you, you tag him in. I'll tag him in. <laughs> I want you to come up with what's your tag team name with uh, Mainstream Matt? Oh, geez. The Mainstream know. Mutilators. The Mainstream Mutilators? Well, 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 I'll think of something. I think Props and Circumstance. <laughs> <laughs> because you make props. That's good. And he's in the news, so he's about the circumstances. Yeah. Talk about newspaper boxes. We can tie that. Don't yeah, do not steal. No, they, no, sword. They're team fake news. Team fake news. <laughs> oh, that's also really great and topical. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Speaking of fake news, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com where you can find links and subscribe to us in a podcast and video form or look us up on your favorite platform. We should probably be there. Also, drop us a line at that email address. Good times! Good times at WrestlingMayhemShows.com. Matt says checks and balances. Checks and balances. Those don't, exist. Those don't right. exist anymore. No, those don't exist. They blew those up a couple years ago. Uh, 412-206-WMS0. Tweet us at Mayhem Show and join the Wrestling Mayhem Show page and group. And we're live here every Tuesday on the Facebook page uh, on Facebook Live, 9 p.m. Eastern Time every Tuesday. Also streaming on the Sorgatron Media, Periscope, Twitter, uh, Twitch, and a few other pro, uh, platforms. If you're viewing us right now on those platforms, uh, we do have a chat room over on the Facebook page for Wrestling Mayhem Show where a lot of people are, including 
<laughs> including these tag team names in the in the uh, chat right now. Also, uh, you can check us out on our streaming partner, the405media.com, where we're streaming there every single night at 9 p.m. Pacific time, midnight Eastern time, so you can fall asleep to the sweet sounds of mayhem. Uh, and also check out our patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show, where you guys can support the show if you're finding value or at least get a couple chuckles from us every week, including our friends at the fan of the show, one dollar level, Bo Diggity. Woo! If I was wondering, because we haven't really mentioned it in a while, he pays us and with the instruction to say his name that way, that way, and I think we've been doing it for like two or three years. So, anyways, and 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 anyone else who is a Patreon, a patron of us, will introduce you any way you want. That is true. That is true. And you will say anything. We're, we're not. And I mean, well, I mean, uh, well, I and, mean. Oh, Sorg, oh, we almost. won't say anything that is not that will not get us kicked off Facebook. Let's let's uh, anything and also anything that won't get our, our guests kicked out of school. Um, <laughs> yeah. Also, Ed Burke, Bobby F. J. Town, and Tina Keys, and at the Pocky Club five dollar level, Occupy Pro Wrestling, Heel Bradley Brothers, Dog Remedy, Dave Potter, and of the Tiny Shutter Podcast, and Kyle Turner, uh, and also our friend at the Pizza Club ten dollar level. Antonio Garza at the Wrestling Revolution.com. That is uh, Alex Carr rolled into joining us at Mayhem Mania later in the show. Once again, you guys support the show at patreon.com slash wrestling mayhem show. So Mike. Hi. Hi. So um yeah, it was it was a heck of a Monday night. It looks like it's bleeding into Tuesday. I didn't know it was NXT week this week. So uh, here's the thing. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, wait, did you go to work today? Yeah. Okay. Just wondering. That's one thing yeah. for context. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, so here's the thing. I was initially very upset when I was seeing uh, all the tweets, you know, <laughs> pouring in like, oh, oh, my God, Ricochet. Oh, my God, Aleister Black. Oh, my God, DIY. But then I watched Raw. <laughs> uh-huh. Um, all right. All right. And, and I asked the question. I ask every week, what happened on Raw? Oh, no, you don't. Sorg. You're not doing that. Sorg, do you know what happened on Raw? What happened on Raw? A whole fat lot of nothing. Oh. <laughs> A whole fat lot. You know what happened? Cody Rhodes' old theme music happened because, whoa, it's only smoking mirrors. Nothing <laughs> happened on the show. Wait, wait, whoa, what? <laughs> this was a. Like, it was a guest starring episode. Yeah. It's like if you watch a serialized drama, but then they have one episode where Richard Simmons is on. They can they completely ignore every story that's going on. They just focus on the guest star. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to toss this to our new crew over here. <laughs> you guys watch this. You guys are our regular watchers of Monday Night Raw, right? I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. So what, what did you think? I mean, are you following NXT? Did you know who these guys were going into it? Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah it was it was interesting because, like, Cornell actually went to the gym right when Raw was about to start. He's like, hey, you know, text me if I miss anything important. He was taking a nap. He was, he was taking a nap, <laughs> as most college students do at 7.30 at night. Uh, so Raw rolls around and Triple H walks in and he's like, yeah, Ricochet is going to be here. I'm like, okay, this is interesting. And then he's like, Alistair Black, Johnny Gargano, Tomasa Ciampa. Yeah, okay, cool. And then Lacey Evans strutting down the ring too? <laughs> <laughs> no, Lacey Evans strutting halfway down the ramp, twirling and then going back. Is that is that, is that like her new thing? That was like, the highlight can, of Raw. Can we call her Lacey Lena? Yes, that's why I said that on Sunday. I said that on Sunday. Yes. Well, Emmalina, right? She's the new Emmalina. Yeah, because yeah, we like, yeah, she walked out. We went to break, and we're like, wait, what just happened? Is this yep. is this all we're doing with her? Like, to yeah, be like, fair, honestly, I think it's probably for the best. Really? Why? Wait, are you, wait, are you not are you not down with the uh, Lacey Evans? I, I don't it. like the character. Okay, the character. Can only go one of two ways. Neither of them are very good. <laughs> can we can we also talk about the four NXT people that came on last night mm. have had more time on Raw than the NXT people that were called up a month ago <laughs> and have been advertised for two months about yeah. being on Raw. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, 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 this is this has been a while. This is 
this is usual for them. Like follow through. When follow I, through. When right? I first heard that they were coming on, I had like a small funeral in my head for their careers. <laughs> 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 It is a little bit of like, is this is this going to be something, or is this going to there? There gonna be another Bobby Roode. Is there is this their transition to ha- being able to command a little bit of money on the indies, right? Um, no, and, and, but like that crowd, like the only one that, and, and arguably the one they've done the least with that that has the star power potential is EC three. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. so disappointed. You're so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. I wanted so much good for him. Because if they were just going to call up these four guys, keep EC3 in NXT to let him run shop over there. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I, I don't I don't I think don't. these guys are called no, up. These are not call ups. These are, this they, is, mm, this is, I, this I'm is, hearing conflicting reports on that. Okay. Okay. I'm hearing conflicting shit on that. What's the water cooler talk? That's literally like no one's sure. No one's sure. No one knows why they're doing this. I think this goes with it. The other big thing is you can see if you're on video, Sasha is joining us. Um, <laughs> Beachview Trash Olympics champion Sasha Banks. Um, that is not a good title for her to have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that should be the Enzo thing. That's true, too. Well, we, we do have we the hair. We still have anymore. the hair of, of he who shall not be named um, and interrupts your Survivor Series. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> But uh, I forgot where I was going with that now. Um, Trash Olympics. Trash Olympics. Sasha Sasha Banks. Banks. Oh, NXT Women's title. So it was announced that (laughs) they're going to (laughs) defend it across everything. SmackDown, Raw, NXT. Yeah. So, which leads me to this, like, it was a weird, like, it feels like kind of when we were leaning into the super shows, which we already are because we're leaning in the WrestleMania and stuff crosses over because uh, titles and Royal Rumble, you know, champion picks Mm -hmm. and everything, right? Like Becky, uh, Charlotte, and... and, and, uh, ronda rousey so like it feels like we're we're kind of just hey the nxt guys can just come hang out and beat our tag champions and then they'll go hang out in nxt and maybe it'll be like back in the day when cesaro would just go and have matches with Sami Zayn for some reason right um or jack swagger which was really being put over on that edge and christian podcast this week uh him and Sami Zayn on nxt which i forgot happened like i completely forgot happened. i never knew it happened I, <laughs> it was a mystery yeah um, but you know, I, maybe we're just, we have all these brands and, um, you know, much like, I feel like, uh, we were, we we're talking during the pay-per-view, like, I feel like the, 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 the 205 live cruiserweight match is just like a sampler to get you into the network for all the freebies out there, even though it's on the pre-show, not on the pay-per-view. Like, this is like this weird sampling platter of like, Hey, look at all this other stuff that's so going on over here. I'm going to take that one step further. Okay. So. Going because I had I had similar thoughts earlier today when really thinking about this. If Sasha and Bailey really are going to defend across all three brands, um, they like uniformity a lot. Mm-hmm. I think at WrestleMania we should unify the men's tag team championships. You think we'll roll that way with it? I I don't think this will happen. But if we just look at it right now, just for funsies, the match would be the Usos versus the Revival versus War Machine. (laughs) (laughs) Let's let's just think about that for about two and a half minutes. Really sit and marinate on it and enjoy the prospect of all of that. Like, that would just be ridiculous. I meant War Raiders, obviously, but same thing. <laughs> I, I just realized my own mistake. But yeah, like that would be a lot of fun. And then you'd have men's WWE men's tag team champions and WWE women's tag team champions. Mm-hmm. And if if we're going to pick people for Sasha and Bailey, I say they wrestle Marina and either Jessamine or Shayna. And you have Horsewoman versus Horsewoman. For all the titles at WrestleMania. Does that help bringing the NXT titles into it, though? Because then that, doesn't that just kind of flatten what's going on in NXT? Or is this just going to be... Like oh, it certainly does, but I don't think they care. <laughs> I, I feel like they're turning it into the ECW uh, rebirth. Ooh, uh, why? See, I, 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 hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. <laughs> we really like what you're doing down there in Florida. Yeah. 
Let's uh, yeah. let, 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 let us uh, take care of that oh, for you. Let's, a, let's put another brand started by a Paul. Let, let's let's put NXT on sci-fi. <laughs> let's put NXT on sci-fi. <laughs> um, no. I I, no. Right, I wouldn't be surprised if you see NXT on television by the end of the year. I want to I want to just mention just for you know I was actually thinking about this like yesterday too with NXT. You know NXT started on sci-fi as a really yeah. brand. Yeah. It was the the original one that was like the the oh, the reality show. The- can we have a podcast where Larry watches the old NXT? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mike, God, you, you couldn't watch. get me to watch Lucha Underground. You're not going to get me to watch this. I don't want to put him through the season with Michael Cole and the just, gong. Just I won't one do episode. It. One episode. One episode? How long is the episode? I mean, it's like an hour, 45 minutes or something. Are they up there? Are they up on the network? <laughs> yeah, of course there. Oh, they'll just put anything up there. Um, mm-hmm. This is this is the one that had like like they were the NXT like where Daniel Bryan has soda drinking contest. So that determines if you're a good wrestler or not. Obviously, how are you with the huh? soda? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Cool. And he finally gets his revenge on the soda now. Oh, he, yes. Ah. He finally come full uh-huh. circle. Has he had a high fructose corn syrup discussion? Has that been a I part of this? I don't think so. I sure yeah, that was the whole AJ was thing. When he that was, was an AJ thing? No, he yeah. was bashing hot dogs and t-shirts. He didn't say anything about And it. sodas. Did he? And sodas. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, because he did have the souvenir mug. And that's how yep. I know there's a souvenir cup that I need to look for next time they come to Pittsburgh. Because mm-hmm. uh, that's what I collect so I don't spend too much at their March stand. Kevin Even Owens though. is at the movie theater with his son. <laughs> Breaking. Can we talk about Kevin Owens Breaking. for a moment? What, you oh, what do you think Kevin Owens is seeing in the theater? Um, I don't know. He's just eating pop. His son's on TV. Uh, they're eating popcorn. I'd like to think he's going to see Spider Verse. I, I I bet he's going to see um, Battle Angel Alita. Oh, you, you might be right. Captain no, Marvel. You, Captain Marvel. You yeah. got? A, you think you got a pre screamer? You got a Canadian pre screamer? Yes, screamer. <laughs> a pre screamer. Yes, I don't. Okay. <laughs> Word, that kind of show. words are not working great for me tonight if you haven't noticed mike um <laughs> so. it's all right it's not like you have to speak on this show no 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 that's just not like you know three hours of of, of talking i need to do uh tina's <laughs> saying larry watching season three would be comedy gold yes Ooh, um, i kind of yeah. want to do this now yeah just one episode from each season <laughs> one episode from each season. I th- I think that's fair. If you want to, if you want to help us pick which episodes Larry watches from each season of NXT, what was it? Three seasons? Four seasons? Of, well, of the there initial? were there were four. There were four seasons. Uh, so so please email us at NXT hurts Larry at wrestlingmayhemshow dot com <laughs> uh, so we can uh, get those tabulated and, uh, and 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 take care of that. Well, this is yeah. The Miz was the your discretion is advised. <laughs> yeah, that's that's at the beginning of this show too, guys. Uh, but uh, I swear, everybody in the chat room seen fighting with my family be- except me at this point. I so haven't seen it. You yet. haven't seen it have yet. Seen it. It's officially coming out this Thursday. Looking forward to it. I know Toddy from Thirty Podcast. We we kicked up some tickets from our friend Malengo uh, last week. He has a uh, review. He he seemed to like it. He seemed to like it. Um, the W's for for wrestling. If you guys know that from his show. Uh, also, oh, I was wondering what that was. What? Because <laughs> he did like a little video of him. Like I had no idea what the W was. I'm oh, like, on his podcast, whenever he's he's uh, here on, in studio doing a video version, he says throw those W's up if you feel welcome. Uh, on the, on oh, the podcast. So, oh, okay, yep, it's it's all connecting now. Yes. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. No. Hold on. Wait, wait, we didn't hear you. Your is your mic on? Oh, sorry. Uh, Tina said, "Goldust Oksana wedding." Oh, yep. uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, just I've so the, I've seen the Titus just the word Beta Max. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. That's are you ready? Right? Hey, on NXT. Oh, Larry, are you ready for this? So, oh. do you do you remember Oksana? I don't. <laughs> she was she was Lithuanian. Where is where and, is Bobby with the with and the, she? Yeah, when know, right? when would she have been on? Um, whenever yes. Daniel Bryan was debuting, okay, uh, I was, that was during my sabbatical. She, she needed a green yeah. card, so she married Gold Dust, and then immediately <laughs> turned on him. Jeez. And um, she also don't forget, don't forget the uh, hold on, who was the officiant for that wedding? Was it the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase? Was it? Pretty sure. No. Pretty sure. 
man, they went all out. I bet his rates are insane. And, and, this, and, and, and keep this in mind. Wait, was it? were they still on TV? Because after a couple of seasons, they stopped putting it on sci-fi. And they started just putting it on WWE.com. Like, there's an entire season of it just, just straight went to WWE.com. Like before, oh, no. Uh, Dusty was there. Dusty was? Dusty oh, and man. Cody were there. Dusty and Cody. <laughs> like, that was actually probably the last time all three Rhodes boys were on TV at the same time. Good. Ty Cross is out there, and he's saying that uh, she Axana was uh, Cesaro's valet when he got called up, too. That's when he had like the rugby, like uh, that's, yeah, that's uh, when he was wearing the rugby armbands, the rugby so. arm ba- armbands on her on his on his legs or something. Still during my sabbatical, and was, he was called he was called Antonio Cesaro. Yes, yes, <laughs> one of the first victims of of name retraction for the best. For, <laughs> I've been sure, sure, and yeah, Alistair. That, Bla- that, that's a, that's a mouthful. Are you ready for Alistair Black to just be called Black when he comes up to the main roster? I think it's, I think it's just. Gonna be, <laughs> I, I mean, Biggie said he's always been black to me. <laughs> Biggie said that on Twitter. Biggie said that on Twitter. He's like he's always been black to me. <laughs> All right. Well, well, that's a perfect point for an ad break. Uh, <laughs> the show is brought to you by. Uh, IndieWrestling.us. Uh, if you want to see a lot of uh, great uh, indie wrestling and uh, and even a lot of stuff about uh, you know uh, Johnny Gargano in Cleveland like ten years ago when he was coming up with our friends from Pro Wrestling Ohio. Early episodes there. Madison Rain before what, what her, her name was like Lacey something or something back then. Uh, who just made news this weekend with uh, the IWC Women's Champion re- Championship winning that this weekend. Um, that that show, the uh, IWC Cold Blood show, will be a part of the Indie Wrestling Network coming up later this week. As soon as I edit it, uh, so you can check out her on the show now. What's that? I need to, I need to talk to Maz and Rain. I have so many questions about TNA. I did not get a chance to talk to her. <laughs> I don't know. Do you, wait, wait, wait. You want me? To, wait, TNA. you want me to get Mass and Rain on the show just so you can grill her about TNA? Matt, do you really, I, or, uh, Mike? Do you really want to be blocked by one more person? I will limit it to three questions. <laughs> That's enough to get blocked. <laughs> yeah, that's a dude. <laughs> I mean, no, no. Mike has been blocked by like the majority of the TNA staff. And Ron. I've been blocked by the entire <laughs> company. Oh, wait, wait, Josh Matthews' company um, account. The whole company. Um, um, Hulk Hogan. You, yours, you are blocked by like coworkers of yours at this point. Uh, it, it's 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 strange. <laughs> you, you think you would be able to resolve this thing? You like, know, by so. much. I, I mean, geez, like Josh Matthews is like the nicest dude to work with, and 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 you and you you went and pissed him off. Hey, he pissed me off first. Anyways, this is an ad about IndieWrestling.network and .us <laughs> for some reason. All right, we'll see if I still have that gig next Friday. Okay, um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, check out so much going on there. We just uh, launched the uh, uh, Black Diamond Wrestling Royal Eight Tournament. Um, where the phrase two girls, one cup was uttered in the middle of the ring and somebody didn't get fired for that. And you can find out why that guess is going to be on next week. Uh, <laughs> that cold blooded with WCW's glacier returning to ring action. I mean, I guess he never really stopped, but this is the first time in IWC mass and rain. Of course, see her over, uh, uh, her match with Katie Arquette from this weekend. Plus so much more from the RWA rise wrestling with a Y uh, Uprise, uh, Prospect Pro Wrestling, 2PW, who is, who's involved with the Pit Fight Show we're going to talk about in just a moment, and so much more. And, of course, VODs of a lot of these shows, including uh, Fight Society and Revenge Pro uh, from here in Pittsburgh and Erie, respectively, also a part of that. You can see some of that. We just shared it over at PittsburghWrestling.com. Uh, our friend PB Smooth on the front page of the Erie Times News and uh, he's uh, featured there uh, for, with stuff from uh, Revenge Pro. And you can see the rest of that with uh, him and Vic- Victor Benjamin, the Savage Gentleman, as part of Revenge Pro's Revenge Rumble, uh, which was really, really hectic to shoot, trust me. Uh, have fun with that one, guys. Um, you, you too can believe a guy can pull a Kofi Kingston in a rumble with a hoverboard. Uh, so, so much more going on. Indie wrestling.us, indie wrestling.network. Go check your seven, go start your seven day free trial at indie wrestling.network, uh, for that too. All right. So speaking of indie wrestling, our guests here today are, uh, putting together their first indie show, right? <laughs> well, second for me. Actually. Second. Oh, yeah. oh, there's history here. So, uh, so, so you guys are doing pit fight out at, uh, the, uh, the Pitt University Greensburg 
campus. Yes. yes. Uh, and it is for Connor's Cure, which if you guys, you know, fans of WWE, everybody's heard of that, of course, over the years here. Um, so, so tell me a little bit about, uh, you know, this event coming up here. Okay. So pit fight is pit Greensburg's first ever professional wrestling show. Now I come from a wrestling family. My dad, uh, is QB blitz. He used to wrestle over at PWX. I think I met QB blitz in a podcasting session. Absolutely. Not too long ago. Yeah. He said he came into your session. Yeah. Yeah. Cause he wants to start his own podcast sort of thing. So shout out to you, dad. It was, it, it, yeah. Great chat that. with him. And. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. So uh, I kind of grew up with it. I never got to see my dad perform, which kind of sucked like when I was little. Mm -hmm. But then probably like when I was 12, 13, I started to get into WWE and stuff. I came in right at the summer of punk. So it was like a great time to get into it. Um, So when I was in high school, I wanted to do some sort of like charity event because I was the president of the community service uh, club. I'm like, hey, let's do a wrestling show. My dad's like, okay. So he got a lot of his con- like a lot of his buddies to come uh, for that show. It was called Cougar Mountain Mayhem. It was at my high school, Yawk Senior High School. Yeah, I think uh, I think I've heard of that one. Yeah, we ended up raising about twenty two hundred dollars for Connor's Gear nice. for there. Nice. It, was, it was a really good show, and like I loved being able to see the guys perform. Now for that show, I didn't really do a lot. Like my dad talked to everybody, got all the matches worked out, and everything. This show, <laughs> it's a little bit different. So I didn't really know what to expect from Pitt Greensburg, like mm-hmm. wrestling wise, because like a couple of my friends watched it in high school. So I'm like, ah, maybe not a lot of people watch it. And then I met this man <laughs> over here. Uh, I literally met him for five minutes. And he's like, hey, want to see something cool? And he turns off the light in the study room we were in and starts playing Finn Balor's ring music and tries to reenact his entrance oh like we do every time he comes out oh yeah yeah, yeah. i mean you have to it's like tradition so <laughs> so we got into wrestling actually at campus we host like viewing parties for all the pay-per-views and everything nice. so we do like royal rumble uh survivor series and wrestlemania there and i was very surprised at the turnout of those shows like there'd be pro- what would you say maybe like 50 60 people there's yeah, a lot they packed yeah up that whole, mm-hmm. um it's like a like a rec room yeah. in the back of one of the um, halls, and uh, it, it just packed. Like mm-hmm. we ran out of seats. Now, given it's college students, and they give us free food, so a lot of people are going to show up anyway. <laughs> yeah, but uh, people start getting interested in wrestling at that point. They're like, "Oh, there's a match on, and there's mozzarella sticks. I'm going to come over and see what's going on." Uh huh. So me and Cornell were kind of just talking one day because Cornell's my roommate. Uh, we were like, "So, what do you think?" the odds of doing a wrestling show at Pitt Greensburg would be. I'm like, let's find out. And I'm like, hey, Dad, what do I need to do to be able to like do this and stuff? And he's like, here, I'll give you all the contacts. So he shot them all over to be on Facebook Messenger, which I haven't used since like 2015. So, <laughs> And I started messaging the guys. We're like, yeah, we're interested in the show. I'll, I'll go over some of the matches later that we have set up. Um, but yeah, and our... It, it helps a lot that our student activities director is one of the biggest wrestling fans I've ever seen. So we're like, hey, we want to bring the show to Pitt Greensburg. Uh, we have some connections. Uh, how do we get this approved? And then the whole process started. Uh, it was really interesting because I never made matches before or like talk to wrestling. So this is like, I, I see you're involved with 2PW, which is Marshall Gambino's promotion up there in the Catanning area. Yeah. That, that just like, well, literally we've done one show with them already. It's on, on the network as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so you like, you know, you, you already had uh, like that kind of connection right off the bat. So it's not him putting it together. Like you guys are booking this thing. Yeah. So yes, yeah. we have full creative control over that. And it's interesting. It, yeah. To say the least. Yeah. <laughs> no, that is we literally spent what nine hours in the study room in our building one day, it felt like, like four, but like that was still. It felt like four and twenty-four at the same time. Yeah, <laughs> and you guys, like, I know we were talking about like you, you missed the IWC show this weekend. Like, you guys are going to a lot of these indie shows already and know a lot of this talent. Yeah, we went to uh, IWC's Reloaded. Mm-hmm. Uh, we went. That was, so fun. That, was, oh that, my was that was so amazing. Fun. <laughs> um, just main event, Andrew Palace, DJC. That was a great match. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> oh yeah, we made fun of Boss Dylan Bostic for probably like twenty minutes straight. Well, it's easy to. I mean, I can I do when I just run into him personally. <laughs> yeah, so, I, mean, I mean, have you seen his beard lately? <laughs> Not that I can really speak. But. When you hair have hair that looks like a tennis ball. <laughs> 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 that was that was one of the first matches we got like a lot of like our friends so yeah. we, that was like at that point we had enough like critical mass to like start, <laughs> start up our own chants and yeah. stuff yeah like, like right when the match came out we all start we all started chanting boss stick sucks yeah, he really really, like, really really sucks, sucks. and then <laughs> warlow came over and he was like conducting <laughs> us yes <laughs> uh, and, and, and i'll let you know the singing uh continued this month uh, so oh, thank, God. <laughs> thank God. I would be surprised if it didn't. <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it, when you get that crowd going, it's definitely the most um, you know indie shanty crowd uh, in the area here. Mm-hmm. So um, no, it, so so I, I love that you guys like already have like that that in there. It looks like, it, it, and again, this is a, a great lineup here. A lot of guys, uh, people in the show are going to be familiar with as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's awesome. Yeah, it's. It's really fun. We also went to uh, Rise's show, and we're going to RWA, actually, on Saturday. So. Oh, that's going to be a hell of a show. Teddy Long and D'Lo Brown are going to be there, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. as well as Jock Sampson. And Jock Sampson has been there for six or eight years, oh, wow. I think. So, yeah, that's going to be good. Um, a whole different kind of crowd. <laughs> I'll put it that way. So, our first so. RWA show. So <laughs> Nice. I, I see the... the uh, IWC show we were at, that was that was so big because Kurt Angle showed up. Yeah, Kurt oh, Angle yeah. was there. Mm-hmm. And the yeah, hurricane was, was there too. Hurricane. Yes, it's right. Here. I mean, exactly. they had. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. They had Sub Zero on the last one. So. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't see the T Rex. Yeah, although they didn't see the T Rex. <laughs> there was a T Rex. Yeah, there's been there a T Rex a couple of times. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, he was the reset button uh, challenger for Wardlow. That's cool. Yeah, I, I saw, I saw, I saw some of the, like the gimmicky looking. Yeah, didn't they put the moth? They put a moth. The moth was on there, and like mm-hmm. they had the, some of the reps. Were they, they put me on there. <laughs> uh, they, they, they put some of the fans on there. <laughs> yeah, at, when they actually land on. <laughs> Maybe we'll be on it next year. Oh, uh, no. They they did one time pick pick the photographer uh, Dan Hooven that well, I, I don't he was actually he was part of that too but he was just a ringside photographer and they picked him and he went <laughs> in he just went you in. know. So I was like the one girl, uh, Danny, uh, oh, that, yeah. got, yeah. that got picked. Um, you know, that, that, so this is this is a thing. It, the the announcer got picked as well. So yeah, no, yeah, I he was he was picked the one. That, the one that ran. Yeah, yeah. So no, they have a lot of fun with the IWC Reloaded. It's a, it's a nice thing. It's, it's it's a different concept, and and I love that it's a show that they do that. Um, Literally, no no championship matches announced other than there's going to be the championship matches. Mm-hmm. Right, <laughs> you do yeah. not know anybody's opponent going into it. And it's still one of the biggest crowds of the year. Yeah. Because you never know. Like, Sandman came out one time. Tommy Dreamer came out and became the champion mm-hmm. one time. You just don't know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. And Hurricane came out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. So. The pop when he came out was insane. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. And now he's in WWE uh, backstage. So Nice. Uh, so and he'll be back, of course, with IWC in uh, a couple months here, maybe. But uh, so you guys got to th- have fun putting these matches together. Um, what can we expect here? You have, uh, I think, mo- a lot of the matches are already announced here, right? Yeah, we have yeah, most of, of all of them. Right? Yeah, we still need to announce one. Uh, the matches yeah, we yeah. have announced our opener is going to be Chris Larusso versus Lee Moriarty. Oh, jeez, mm-hmm. <laughs> that is a main event on most cards. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we got to get the crowd hyped. So yeah, a lot I'll of these people it. have never like even seen Raw or SmackDown before. So like these two guys have high energy in the ring. So mm. let's throw them together. Um, we also are going to have the juggernaut John Roden against mm-hmm. Beastman. Uh, we have our style of Royal Rumble. We're calling it the Bobcat Brawl. Uh, there's going to be 15 people in it. And the winner gets an opportunity. This belt right here, mm. which I'll get to in a little bit. And uh, they also get like a little trophy thing. Uh, yep. Is it is it a Royal Rumble or a Battle Royal? Royal Rumble. Oh man, cool. Yeah, yeah. we're yeah. pretty hyped for that. Uh, That's the way to do it. Also, we have the Rev issuing an open challenge, so we don't really know who's gonna face him yet. So we'll just have to see who shows up. Uh, we have Katie Arquette. He wants to, he wants yeah, to Cornell it. wants to jump <laughs> in against him. But... <laughs> he, he, doesn't, he doesn't personally. Yeah, I know the Rev personally. Shout out to the Rev. <laughs> Uh, Katie Arquette's going up against Jinx. Uh, we have the main event going up against Military Intelligence, which, fun fact, I didn't know this. Lewis the Nerd actually graduated from Pitt Greensburg. Well, there so, you go. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So he's making a little hometown hero and, move. And uh, that team just debuted at Rise Wrestling uh, last month in the tag team tournament. So uh, a new team and yeah. a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. 
Mm, yeah, they were really good. Yeah. And then our main event is a fatal four way for the inaugural Pit Fight Championship. It'll be against Andrew Palace, Bulk Nasty, The Gavel, David Lawless, and Gory. Awesome. Awesome. And I just saw I saw Gavel uh, apparently heading to New York City uh, here in the next couple weeks as well. So he's wow. getting around um, with uh, I keep forgetting the promotion up there. Doing they're doing a lot of big things with uh, uh, I know like Sunny Kiss and um, and um, uh, Effie have been a part of it. So it's good to see him getting around. So uh, I say this is some of the biggest talent in the area. And again, I know you guys are affiliated with Two PW has been doing some great stuff for a new promotion, and it's wrestling in Greensburg. Mm-hmm. Which there has not been much over there. It's for a great cause. Uh, pit fight. Go check it out on Facebook. And it looks like Larry's tag team partner is here. So that means it must be time for Mayhem Mania coming up here. Uh, so uh, oh wait, he's tagging in. They got the handshake going. How you doing, Mainstream Matt? Do you have any opinions about uh, anything that we talked about here in the first half? The show's great. The show's great, guys. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> great show. <laughs> All right, uh, go check out. Fifi. Oh, hey, the, the bell. I guess shout out. What, that, that, that's a pretty cool bell. I'll have to put a picture up there for you, audio guys out there. Um, so, uh, not too many charity things have like an awesome belt. Like I said, that, that's a better belt than I've seen in, in a lot of indies. Oh, really? Because mm-hmm. uh, I designed it on Canva. <laughs> 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 <With the triangles. laughs> that's what it is. Okay, it is. A lot, well, that's a that's a nice use of. Triangles. Thank you. <laughs> He's really good at geometry. Yeah, yeah, yeah very, uh, very, uh, very symmetrical. What's that? Sure, yeah. Yeah. Well, we're trying to make this like an like a semester. Like we're trying to do a show a semester essentially. Okay. So hopefully we'll be able to defend this belt every semester. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. So that's great. Uh, so it was. So it's not. It, it's not going to be like the Braun Strowman uh, battle royal belt that we never saw again. No, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> gonna, and not nearly as be, green. Yes. Yeah. What, uh, what was that, Mad Mike? <laughs> is one of your shows going to be called Semester to Remember? Oh, can that be that, the last show? That could be. We're we're coining the. You name. You should just do that at the end of every like college year. Oh, we could do that like in the spring. But we were thinking of um like our fall show. We were going to call it Back to School Beatdown. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I'm, so happy that the activities board likes these names. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we were scared with pit fight at first because we're like too vicious or yeah. like. No, we love it. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. if they don't, they can be your heel authority, the activities board, the oh, evil yes. activities board. Yeah. They can just come out and try to. Oh my god! Don't say that. <laughs> we <know. laughs> we hand out a lot of free ideas. Uh, we uh, to whether it be local indies or Lucha Underground, we just hand them out to you guys. And if or you run with them, I or named the hype bros. You did name the hype bros. He, he does I have that claim to fame. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, go check out Pit Fight. Uh, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna see if we can get a camera down there and film it to make sure you guys check, check it out. If you're not in here, but please go support uh, Connor's Cure and support what these guys are doing. Uh, looks like they're putting together a really fun show uh, here as well. Also, hey, support our friends here in the neighborhood. If you're in the area, if you ever visit Pittsburgh over here, hit up our friends at Slice on Broadway. SliceOnBroadway.com. Uh, they are supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza here in Beachview, right here on the tracks, right up there. Or Carnegie PA out there uh, if you're heading out to the airport. Yeah, out in East End where Google is or something. Uh, and PNC Park on the Pittsburgh Pirates if you're probably in town to see another team play that's more important. Uh, but no, go please. <laughs> but at least the pizza's going to be good. And I know you guys do visit. I know some people would stop in town and they did get their slice when they were in town. Didn't visit us, visit us here at the studio, but they they got their slice on Broadway. We do appreciate supporting those guys, uh, feeding our guests here uh, here in the evening on podcast day for a good while. I was just talking Elimination Chamber with our, our friends down there, uh, and they were just like, what are they doing with Osco? What the hell? Like, We pretty much had a mini podcast when I was picking up my pizza tonight. Uh, so thank you so much to them. Uh, please, and, and like I said, there's people from all over. If you got a Broadway in your town, take a picture of it. Tweet the guys, PGH underscore Slice on Twitter, and let them know you want to slice on your Broadway. Uh, and maybe we'll help them with this global expansion that's been happening. Remember, they had one location when we started advertising them. Now look at them all over the city. All right. We will be... That's gimmick infringement. That's gimmick infringement. Sounds like we want to make a The word's broke. Uh, we will be back with Mayhem Mania 
after this message. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. I have some concerns. <laughs> <laughs> and then That's Tuesday it. comes, I'm like, all right. Uh, <laughs> that might as well be the title of our Raw wrap-up. That, that, that should be. That should be. But no, I, I was not. As I said. Him shows, I have some concerns. I'm not, cons- I'm not trying to, to say that I'm, you know, I'm not trying to be, I'm not trying to be an expert. Okay. How am I going to say this? You have <laughs> expertise. I have, I have experience. Shooting professional wrestling. You have a unique perspective. I may on have the been holding a camera at ringside for at least ten years now. I may have nearly I been hit by a chair. I may I have been hit by a chair. I might have got gotten spit on by Voodoo Goo last weekend <laughs> in West Virginia. Okay, and he ain't been right since. I ain't been right since. <laughs> it's worse than when Papa Shango got the Ultimate Warrior. It's like it's he's like he is like a a a budget Papa Shango. Uh, you calling him Discount Papa Shango? Is that what you're calling him, Discount Papa Shango? But if you, but then if like Discount Papa Shango had Slipknot masks, then you have Christian Noir. Walmart Papa Shango. I, I'll, I'll love to be a Christian. Please don't spit on me. Big Lots Papa Shango. Big Lots Papa Shango. Matt Carlin's. Far more Papa Shango. Matt Carlin's. We have a thing to do. Let's do it. I forgot. We are doing it right now. We're actually I'm going to do the thing. You're going to do the thing. Hey, do the thing. All right, everybody. Welcome back. It's time for Mayhem Mania. And uh, I'm Woo. your pal in the mainstream media. And this is what we do. Um, first of all, uh, the guys on the couch are still here. Um, yes, they have are. names. We didn't leave. Uh, we never, we just, Sam, we just yeah. Sam, Kyle, and Cornell. Handsome yeah. gentlemen. All right. Cornell. Sorgatron's over there. We'll talk to him in a second. Uh, we're going to play. Gentlemen, we're going to play a little thing we call mayhem mania i can't wait it's kind of like a competitive thought experiment in which we are crying trying to create the greatest wrestlemania card of all time but we must do it within the confines of the current reality in which we all live everyone comes in their current physical mental contractual state um which means that basically if vince mcmahon can do it right here and now then you guys can do it you're vince mcmahon with Unlimited resources and zero self control. That's scary. So basically, Vince McMahon. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, basically so in a moment, McMahon. we'll run through this card. Each of you is going to make one change to this card. Uh, either you'll be able to, uh, if you don't like a match, you take a match out entirely. You bring in a new match with entirely new people. Uh, if you want to use someone who's already on the card, you can move one for one, one unit for one unit. So if you want to move, you know this to there you swap those you swap this for this you know whatever let your imagination run wild um there's also a special subtract option sometimes things get carried away and we end up with like three ways and multi-persons so the subtract option is one use only you can use it to remove one single person from any of these matches that are on the board um sorg you may notice that there's a blank space up here. Oh, if a that. match survives three rounds without being altered in any way, it graduates to permanence and goes to our quote-unquote super card where it can't be touched. We're trying to get eight matches onto the super card. Last week, our first match to graduate to the super card graduated Sorgatron's match, which was Elias versus Velveteen Dream. So, nice. Fantastic well done, match. Uh, congratulations to Sorg. Sorg gets rewarded for, for doing this. He's going to uh, get to do a handful of different things here in a moment, uh, and I'm going to run through those in a second. But first, I also have to remind you, there are certain people uh, that you are not allowed to use. Over the course of this game, we um, reward people with eliminators, okay? <laughs> Basically, it lets you remove a person entirely from the game. So if you don't, if you're worried that, like, maybe someone you don't think, you know, should be on this card, uh, you're worried someone's going to, like, bring in, like, you know, someone that you just don't like, use the eliminator, get rid of them. Uh, so this has been given away, you know, countless times. And so far, we've got a list of uh, guys that you cannot use, okay? And Sorg's going to have an opportunity to add to this list because part of his reward for having a graduated match is, Sorgi, you get one eliminator. You don't have to use it right now, but you've got one, okay? Okay. All right, so just okay, think about that for a minute. That back guys, here are the other people that you cannot use these people. And by the way, you will be quizzed on all this as just like school. Don't oh, worry. The oh, chat wait. room will yell at you if you get something wrong. Right. Um, you cannot use Ric Flair, Jeff Jarrett, Drake Maverick, oh God, John crazy. Cena, Randy Orton, Brock Lesnar, and Triple H. Not my idea. These are other people. I didn't, didn't do that. Okay. I'm okay with Jeff Jarrett. 
Yeah, Jeff Jarrett was good. <laughs> okay, <laughs> all right. Um, last week we played the Elimination Chamber Challenge. We asked people to send in their predictions of who would win the Elimination Chamber match for the WWE Championship, and the tiebreaker was total time of the match without going over. Three people sent in Daniel Bryan as their answer. <laughs> All of their tiebreaker times were over the actual time of the match. Whoa. There is no winner. Wow. But I've come, bum, up with bum, a sor- I've come up with a compromise, Sorgi. Yeah. Uh, you've got a little packet over there. <laughs> Let's can- play this game for this, uh, this last okay. eliminator. Yeah. So we have one. several emails here. Uh, before, uh, if you're on the stream, uh, or maybe we'll catch us in gold later, if you're a Patreon supporter, I have this WWE $1 Superstar Wall Walker mystery package going on here. And I got a Dollar General, hence the nice sticker. Um, and I had you guys email at God whatever you wanted to at Wrestling Mayhem Show before the during the show before 10 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, and uh, and 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 on the and it could be one of um, several people. There's a picture for you guys. I'm not gonna read all the names because there's way too many people. Again, it's really kind of depressing. Um, <laughs> but but we're gonna just uh, real quick uh, the emails. Uh, Mad Mike um, was guessing this is gonna be Dolph Ziggler. Uh, we have, let me find the other emails real quick. Alex Cars of OccupyProWrestling.com is guessing AJ Styles. Um, oh, by the way, I, uh, Mike said Dolph Ziggler because no one uh, wants Dolph. And Larry... How would they know? <laughs> oh, Gar- Garza, Garza uh, says Danny Ambrose. And Larry, didn't you email? Yes, yeah, it says Seth Rollins. It says Seth Rollins. I don't know where his email went. Um Womp Womp at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Oh, <laughs> yes. And he also called it Lego prediction. This is not a Lego, yes. Larry. He wasn't awesome. paying attention to the email address. He, he emailed it to Womp Womp at, good time, uh, uh, Womp Womp at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. So I am going I to open to this. I'm going to open this. Uh, and I did not play. I did not play. You want to let these guys right. guess, too? Oh, real quick? You, you guys want to guess? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what, are you, what are you thinking? I just opened it. I did uh, not look. Now you can smell it. it smells in the smell. Who does it smell like? Does it smell like Dolph Ziggler? Does it, it smell smells like, like this? Lilacs. It's, it's Stephanie it's McMahon. All right. Is that your pick? Uh, yeah. No, I'm picking Roman. Roman? Oh, I think it smells phenomenal. I'm going with AJ. We got we got two AJs. <laughs> you guys smell that? I smell some cinders. You know, burning it down. I'm gonna go with Rollins. Rollins. Okay. <laughs> we got our picks, and it is. And I'm hoping it looks as goofy. It's what? What the hell is this? It is Roman Reigns. Yo! Hey, there you go. So you get an eliminator. So young man, what's your name again? Sam. Sam? Okay, great. So Sam gets an eliminator. (laughs) You're like in work mode. I'm sorry. (laughs) Jesus. Sam gets an eliminator. Sam, you don't have to use it right now. You can you could sit you could sit on it. You can wait until the end of the round. You can you can ponder. You can come back next week. You can tell us in a month, you know. But the game ends before WrestleMania, so just letting you know. Uh, it does expire, but um, FYI on that. Uh, I think I've gotten through everything, Sorg. Okay. The lineup will be Oop. Mad Mike, then Sam, then Kyle, then Cornell, and Garza is batting cleanup. But first, Sorgatron. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. I need you. Did we, did we read the matches? Yeah, we're going to read the matches. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to ask you to create a match. And then, Sorg, you are going to decide who is going to get this dose of punishment that you're going to hand out. Who is going to get this oh, dose no. of punishment? Okay. Let's punishment. go through the matches. Okay. Here's what we got right now. First of all, created by Bobby F. J. Town, we have the Triconics, Zelina Vega, Peyton Royce, <laughs> and Billy Kay, versus the Tri-Pirates, Kyrie Sane, <laughs> Io Shirai, Asuka. Oh, Big pop. Uh, Tina created Shayna Baszler versus Miko Satamora. Larry created Becky Lynch versus Rhea Ripley. You might notice there's a lot of women on this mm. card. There are. Uh, Alex Cars created Zack Ryder versus No Way Jose. Honey Badger created the War Raiders and Sarah Logan versus Sanity, just the guys. Ty Cross <laughs> created <laughs> Drew McIntyre versus Walter versus Samoa Joe. And Marcus Mann created Seth Rollins versus Char Char. Sorgi. Yes. Make a match. Johnny Gargano. <laughs> Johnny Bananas. Johnny Bananas. Mm. Power Rangers birthday party uh, guest of the show, friend of the show himself. That's as far as I got with this idea. Um, I'm trying to remember if there was somebody. Elias is already used because that's my first pick. 
um, because I recently pulled up a match with uh, Johnny Gargano and Logan Shulo that became Elias. Oh, but you know, mm, mm. I could go with Callisto because he was also in that match as Samurai Del Sol. Mm. Um, I don't know why I'd have... I don't know. I, I had reaction shot on the couch. Sorry about that. Um, let's see. Johnny okay, Gargano. Like- and uh, I lost my train of thought now. It's just completely gone. Who, who would just burn the place down? No, Seth Rollins is already used. Um, Buddy Murphy. <laughs> Buddy Murphy. Uh, no help from the I audience. Like, no, I like that. I like that, but I do not he's want it He's too small. He's, he's a cruiserweight. Is, wait, is somebody... Gargano's the main roster wait, heavyweight. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, Gargano. <laughs> one, I remember Gargano was a... Was the a main chub- roster adds 20 pounds. I remember Gargano was a chubby wrestler, but now he's Mr. Abs. And I think uh, we need to multiply the abs on this. Not Buddy Murphy. Oh, yeah. Because I don't think he's being used. <laughs> I know where this is going. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I know. I'm sorry, and, you know. I I know we had had an abathon last night with uh, Ricochet and Baylor on on the same thing. Was it too much sexy for TV, Matt? Yes. Yeah. Um, I mean, my wife fainted. That <laughs> yeah, that's too that's sexy? right. Uh, Johnny Gargano versus She's like sitting there turned at the TV like versus this. She's like right up against it. I right. won. I won Johnny Gargano and whatever superhero deal he's going to do against Venom. Against Venom oh, himself? No, against Venom oh, and yeah. Finn Demon's Balor. Demon. Uh, can I say Demon Balor? Is that a, is that a stipulation? You know what? He's what? a that, that is a uh, distinction that is made on the 2K19 video game. Yeah. I'll let you have it. <laughs> oh Demon yeah. Balor. yeah. Oh. If it's on 2K19 separately, or if it's a pop figure, it counts. <laughs> this try 04 Undertaker. Gargano's have press your luck. Like. <laughs> for Undertaker. That that's basically what Johnny Gargano is gonna look like. So. Oh, uh, he's gonna look like. Um, Spider-Man with a Christmas sweater. Well, my yes. penmanship sucks from this angle. But what does that say? Dean? Does that say Dean Balor? Dean Balor. Dean Balor? Dean Balor. It's Dean like... Balor. You're just <laughs> Balor. <laughs> You're just <laughs> trying to <laughs> see Ambrose on the <laughs> What are you doing with this? What am I doing? Right, right, right. Dean Balor. <laughs> Don't forget the <laughs> accent over the A. <laughs> Now, it doesn't, Sorgi, it doesn't work. Yes. <laughs> who's going to get the punishment this week? You've who's got five gonna, people to choose from. Who's going to get Which the punishment? Which of these young men on the couch is going to oh, get the one punishment? Of, it's one of the guys on the no, couch? No, it could be any of these five players Any this of those week. guys. Um, you, know, you know what? You know what? I think we do need to... I know. Um, you know, somebody's running his second show. I think, you know, uh, uh, we got to break him into the business the right way. I think Kyle's going to get the punishment. <laughs> yes. Yes. I agree okay. with that. There you go. Holy... <laughs> Hey, I'm just Mark. like math class all over again. <laughs> <laughs> should I tell him now or should I wait until his turn? Wait, wait until his turn. Even I want more fun. <laughs> yeah, long. even. Yeah. All right. No, that's good. All right. So we're off and running. All right. Here we yes. go. Again, the lineup is Mad Mike, Sam, Kyle, Cornell, and then Garza Bats clean up. Mad Mike, you're up. Sam's on deck. Oh, boy. Um, I, I, I got to tell you, I, I'm a fan of a lot of these matches. I'm not a fan of some of them. Um, <laughs> Probably one in particular. <laughs> Probably one in particular. Um. I, I as much as I love Zach with an H writer, um, I think that match is going to completely go away. Um, oh, yeah. No, are I'm you sorry. saying? Are you saying no way to this match? I'm saying no <laughs> way, Jose. Um, and, and Matt, Matt, uh, in the spirit of inclusion, um, here's what I'm going to do. Um. I, I can book a fail four way, right, Matt? Sure, you can. All right. Um, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the Usos. Oh dear. Versus the War Raiders. But nope, 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 nope. Wait, are they booked? Raiders are already yeah. on the card with Sarah Damn Logan. It. With okay. Sarah right. Logan. <laughs> Triple okay. All right. All right. Amendment. Usos versus the Revival. All right. Versus the Boston Hug Connection. <laughs> <laughs> Tag team warfare. Yo. Please, when we get the Patreon bank, just make this war games. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll be going with their new proper name, Boss Hug, for the Dukes of, Dukes of Hazard. Boss Hug. Okay. Ooh. Um. Okay. Thanks, man, Mike. Thank you. Um. Okay, Sam. Me, Sam, yep. you're up. All right. So what we got? The, so we have sorry, NXT such a piece. guys to work with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I kind of want to do something with. NXT like guys, shame. UK guys, whatever they got stashed live. in developmental. Five yeah. live guys. There's Please. a lot of envelope to be pushed on. I so. mean, I wanted to. When I saw, I'm I'm gonna be honest. You can judge me all you want. I saw Finn Balor and Ricochet in there. I was like, 
could that be a tag team? Yeah. I, I mean, like, just a bunch of the acrobatic <coughs> stuff, you know, do what you want with it. But, like, Kyle said it would be written horribly, but I <laughs> so I guess I kind of agree with it. Um, so I want to put Ricochet on there somewhere. I think, mm-hmm. actually, though, now I'm thinking about it, I kind of want Rollins versus Black, Aleister Black. So okay. If I, oh. so, so we're going to um, take out Charlotte. Yeah. And we're going to put Aleister Black in. I kind of like that idea, actually. All right. Good move. Good move. I don't know what you guys think. So. Do I get your approval? So. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to ask my approval. Yeah. I want your approval, though. <laughs> I'll give you two enthusiastic thumbs up if that makes you feel you, better. You should, I feel great. You should I'll be worried more about the chat room right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Good job. I don't want to know. All right. Good job, Sam. Um, all right, Kyle, you're up. Um, Cornell's on deck, but Kyle, you are getting the punishment. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> you oh, must use a currently reigning champion uh, oh. in your move. Well, that's not, that's not terrible. I guess. There's not that many left. Dude, there's like 20. <laughs> <laughs> there are like 20. <laughs> um, Would you like a list of currently reigning champions off the top of my head? Sure. That sure. haven't been, you had an eliminator used on? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Finn's on there. Oh, you got R Truth. You got Rhonda. You got Tony Storm. Rhonda. Tony. Oscar. Pete Dune. Gibson. Um, Whoever those other two guys are who are holding the UK title belts. What are they? Liverpool's number one, right? Um, Oh, the coffee. No, yeah. Wait. No, no, not the uh, coffees. um, uh, (laughs) God damn. Don't ever say their names. I'm I'm not sick of fucking coffees and gallus. Enough (laughs) of that. One time was enough. (laughs) Buddy Murphy. Okay. Let's see who else is on there. Does R-Truth still have the U.S. title? He does. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my I forgot God. about that. Oh, my God. He <laughs> really does? All right. Yeah. Good times. About that. Lots of options here. Um, okay. So. No leading the witness. <laughs> you know, I think this We're would young. be a good match. Uh, so, the baddest woman on the planet, right? Yeah. Going up against Rhea Ripley herself. Oh, okay. oh, oh, my, oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh. Larry is pissed. Oh. He is he is throwing a fit off camera. Whoa. Becky's gonna show up in her Kill Bill outfit. He was oh, one damn, week away Danny from Glover, the super card. So close. He bro. almost got to retire. Jeez, Ronda versus Ripley. Uh, don't feel bad if someone isn't upset. You're not playing the game correctly. <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, like great, Rick. yeah. Good, good job. Um, all right, like Cornell, Rick. you're up, and then Garza is on deck. I think this is actually Ooh, the first guys. move I've ever made. I'll try. I have I'll not try. seen one single fuck um, you net like in the chat. Oh, good. Oh, good. Yeah. It'll come. We all agreed. Oh, I know it will, but I, I feel pretty solid with that. I'm thinking uh, up on the mic. Let's go with. <laughs> I'm really trying <laughs> I'm right not now. Comfortable. <laughs> um, let's get rid of McIntyre, Walter, and Joe. All right. Ooh. Ooh. That frees up a lot of beef. Oh, sorry, Ty Cross. <laughs> sorry, Ty. Sorry, Ty. Uh-huh. Sorry, not Ty. sorry, Ty Cross. Not go. sorry. <laughs> Back hmm. in the duck farm, Ty. <laughs> 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 Looks like Ty Ty Cross's match Let's just throw in. whacked. Shinsuke That's... Nakamura. Oh, here we go. Oh, I knew you were gonna use now you got now himself. you got to spell Nakamura. <laughs> <laughs> this is the challenge. It's easier than Satamora. <laughs> 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 he had a lot of trouble with Satamora. Nakamura versus Matt Riddle, bro. Yes. Yes. yes, bro, bro. Oh my god, jeez. Whoa. Matt uh, Riddle, who close. who uh, on your card, Chris Russo had a match with right before he got signed. I just want to see. Ooh, I just want to hear cool. Nakamura say, "Bro, bro." I don't, I don't with the mouth guard in or without the mouth guard. It doesn't matter. <laughs> so many knees in that match. Can you imagine? <laughs> All a right. lot of knees. Good job. Knees to faces. This is awesome. Garza, you're up. Garza, are you there? He's in, he's thinking. He might have muted himself. I'm not sure. I know I heard him before. Oh, I turned him down. That's my bad. That's me. that's on me. That's on <laughs> me. I'm sorry. Garza, are you there? I hear Garza just fine. No that's one mutes me. Garza. <laughs> Conspiracy. <laughs> Conspiracy. Conspiracy. Oh, I'm sorry, caller. You mean, Your I haven't connection, had, uh... I mean all of his crass remarks about the last four matches I haven't gotten to hear? Well, I'm sorry about that. I didn't know I turned it down. <laughs> well, um, 
I have a question because at the start of the of the event today, you said that you can do anything that Vince McMahon has the power to do, oh, except, no. oh, except, no. except boo Kenny Omega, right? <laughs> Kenny Omega is under contract, and that's all you need to know about that rule. So, if Vince McMahon so, can do so, it, you can do it. So, can we rehire Big Cast to take on Corey Graves? Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh, oh no! Wow! Oh, delete. Well, no, Corey Graves, delete. Corey's not cleared to wrestle. Corey's not cleared to wrestle. Ah, oh. you can't pick commentators for your match. It's not clear to other things. Oh well. The the more <laughs> the more applicable rule is that he's not medically capable of wrestling. <laughs> and actually That's Big Cass good. might not and be, be either. Fair, if yeah. you've seen Big Cass lately, he may not be either. <gasps> Wasn't he having seizures or something? Like, yeah, yeah, that's like a thing a that happened. Yeah. Yeah. He had one like mid match, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. Hope you're okay. Um mm -hmm. all right, Garza, make it up for run it. Okay. Uh I guess my second option. You just wanted to make that joke, Garza. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about Corey Grace. I'm like, Garza, let's take your first rodeo. You knew that wasn't going to fly. <laughs> anyway, uh, so actually, I, I had my options today. We're going to be Ronda versus Riddle and Nakamura versus Riddle. But I guess. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. I've got uh, Great a minds think alike. Yeah. So I'm going to go with. Uh, with the usual Mayhem Mania tradition of trying to reunite the kings of wrestling. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and, and this year, they're going against the Monstars, Keith Lee and Dominic Dijakovic. I'm going to need you to figure out what okay. we're going to blow out for this. Which match are we going to get rid of to make room for this thing? Yes. Uh, let me see the board. Um. <laughs> I don't know if this helps, but I'll, I'll point the camera over there. But it's a beautiful board. Oh. Does this help? Oh yes, the board is. I, I just want to point out, brought to you by Dark Forge the Studios. They forged this. They forged whiteboard, whiteboard. <laughs> out of dark. The guy out of dark. dark. Out of just <laughs> dark. Know what's on in the dark. studio, and it's good. It's a no, damn good looking board. There's so many like images around. I don't know what's Everybody up, but. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I like Could we even see what that car is? <laughs> no, I can see it. Since okay. I don't want to like uh, bring up <laughs> the Alex Carswell again. Uh oh. Let's get rid of your Fastler and Saltimora. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's not Alex Carswell. Yeah. Okay. Shane is that done. was Tina's. Oh, and he, Tina's gonna be mad at you. She's gonna take back her compliment to you in the chat room. Oh yeah, she is. <laughs> You gonna be mad if I call him Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. You can call him whatever you want. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh. Is, is he still wrestling? <laughs> no, he's not. Maybe he is, but he, he's still he's still getting beat up by Matt Riddle last I knew. So uh, <laughs> that's a that's a <laughs> big on the This yeah, is like the yeah. most Orlando Armory NXT tag team <laughs> match I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely something in Plant City. Good stuff. Um, all right, Garza, thank you very much, my friend. Of course. Uh, Garza creates the uh, match graphics that you might have seen on the screen, hopefully at some point or another. Yeah, plug at TheWrestlingRevolution.com. He's super talented. Um, all right, let's take a run down through our matches, then we'll send you on your way. First of all, we've got Johnny Gargano versus Demon Balor, created by Sorgatron. The Triconics versus the Tri-Pirates, created by Bobby. The Kings of Wrestling versus Keith Lee and Dijakovic. Created by Garza. Ronda Rousey versus Rhea Ripley. Created by Kyle. The Usos versus The Revival versus Boss Hug. Created by Mad Mike. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. We got we got, we got to straighten something out. Uh, brought to you by uh, uh, Kyle. Brought to you by Pit Fight. Correct. Kyle Pit Fight Harper. Pit. Dude. <laughs> Put that Light. on a t-shirt. <laughs> okay. There you go. Frank. Uh, where was I? Okay. Uh, War Raiders and Sarah Logan versus Sanity. Just the guys. Created by Honey Badger. Shinsuke Nakamura versus Matt Riddle, created by Cornell, Brody. and Seth Rollins versus Aleister Black, created by Sam. That is a good match. That's a damn good match. That's this good is, thing is rounded into form, Sorg. There you go. Finally, we brought some actual people who can make some matches. <laughs> <laughs> you might tell what? people that. It's Long <laughs> last. Yeah. As opposed to fake people, man. As opposed to fake people. <laughs> yeah, not real. As opposed to, like, hey, Larry, yours had a good run. 
I, as opposed to all those computer generated <laughs> <ready to> <laughs> beat as opposed to all the ones you eliminated from wrestling long time wrestling bookers and wrestlers and <laughs> that we just got rid of <laughs> it wasn't me it was other people sork do you want to use your eliminator so i want to use my eliminator so sam do you want to use your eliminator mm. is there anyone just pick a name be like i hate this guy i never want to see his name on this I, thing I, yeah. Um, Who's actually, your least favorite wrestler? Charlotte Flair. What? Whoa! Whoa! What? All right. Whoa! I, can... Whoa! I'm so, I just, I'm tired. You know what? Oh, okay. I had the same. Oh, man. Oh, wait. Hold on. Sorry. Brought to you by Pit Fight. <laughs> sorry, we were doing that wrong. <laughs> this it's... elimination is brought to you by Pit Fight. I'm sorry, we will never get Charlotte Flair yeah. by Pit Fight now. I'm we do, we don't have <laughs> to clarify, we don't hate Charlotte Flair. No, I just had the same reaction that Becky did when, when Vince <laughs> announced her. When they did, you know, the exact same thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just wow. tired. That took quite a turn. I was like, well, maybe we won't get someone who's potentially a WrestleMania Wait. main event or eliminated. No, we'll just get another. It's sore. You want to? I, want I can't. Yeah, that I, I don't. I'm in shock. All right. Well, <laughs> I don't know what to do that with that. that. They're eliminated, too. What's that? Was Ric Flair eliminated too? Ric Flair, yeah, Ric Flair is eliminated. eliminated. First father is daughter first eliminators. First father <laughs> daughter eliminators. Yes. Right before his birthday. He's right before his one birthday. moment. <laughs> you can't celebrate. History anymore. making. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Wow. Birthday's Wait, called off. We, I feel like we really locked something dark inside of. <laughs> there are some deep feelings in there. It's not something dark. Brought to you by Dark Horse Studios. Yeah, <laughs> something dark. You could use that. <laughs> something dark. I'll, I'll pitch it to my marketing. You'll pitch it to your marketing <laughs> team. Stay tuned for Talking Mayhem Mania. Yes, or, thank you. That's what we the do. Wrestling next. Mayhem Show YouTube channel. Uh, Larry will be my guest this week. I can't. Oh, yes, he will. No, I can't. <laughs> no, he really can't? Oh, we'll find somebody. We'll find Maybe somebody. we'll be Mad Mike. He likes to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm guilty, but you don't have to be such an ass about it. Well, you know, <laughs> what? those that don't learn from history are doomed to repeat it, just like the players of Mayhem Mania and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and oh. thankfully, Professor Buzzkill is here to uh, teach us about history, about things like how walls work in the past, as is one this week, <laughs> and so much more. Uh, great oh, okay. podcast. Go check it out. Uh, we're talking with him about coming on the show and talking some history with us here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. Because there's a lot of, uh, hey, that's why we all pay for the network, right? <laughs> to experience all that again. Uh, so go check him out. Our good friend, a uh, friend of the podcast network, ProfessorBuzzKill.com. Subscribe to him and go check him out over there. And uh, a friend, again, friend of the podcast, friend of the network, friend to <coughs> history. Uh, all right. It is that time of the show where we find out what you learned from wrestling this week. Surprise. Uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, who, who wants to go first? Those goes. Those. I got what? one. Nope. Oh, none, none of the guys on the couch. Uh, Garza, Garza, what was yours? This week I learned that uh, Alistair Black is not this methodical occultist martial artist. He's just <laughs> moody. He's just moody. No. <laughs> yeah. Did you say so that... Uh, He's moody. In the group, did he post that... Um. Graphic? He's moody. He's, oh, yeah, what, the one where he's yeah, smiling? Yeah. Yeah. Riz made yeah. that. Oh, Riz made dark. that? Okay. He's brooding. He's moody. He's oh, the edgiest dark. superstar on the roster. So now. edgy. Oh. Shadow of the Hedgehog the wrestler. <laughs> I liked it better when like someone like on Twitter asked someone to explain Alistair Black to them, and they just responded with just like Satan in karate. <laughs> <laughs> With Satan with a black belt. <laughs> with some weird place tattoos. Yeah. And a face on his back. Yeah, that too. Pat back. Pat. <laughs> oh, man. Jeez. Um, uh, Matt, uh, Matt Carlin, what did yeah. you learn from wrestling? I learned that none of the uh, general WWE audience watches NXT. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently it's just us. Apparently it's just us. Nobody else cares. The damn sure aren't watching it in Louisiana. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, maybe that wasn't the best place to debut. They have, in, they have internet service out that way? I don't know. It's not Nebraska. How's Nebraska looking? Oh. All right, then. Next WrestleMania. 
That's it's also. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know. I'll let you know how you're doing. In, they're doing in June when I go to Lincoln. Can't wait for Takeover Omaha. <laughs> <laughs> oof, oof. Uh, geez, where are we going next? Uh, Mad Mike, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, I learned um, that Kevin Owens turned his children heel. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Owens turned, turned his kids heel. heel because he said they love pineapple on pizza. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Some may view that as a baby also, face. Turn. I learned Mark Henry is the most goddamn genuine human being ever. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Special, if you haven't seen the special, watch the special. He also put over the cruiserweights and the iconics on the kickoff. Mark Henry for booking committee, the president Dude, for everything. I got to shake that guy's hand a week after he got that ring uh, up in <laughs> Meadville. The nicest dude I've ever met up there. That's great. Did you see he's going to the Steel City Con in Monroeville? I heard. I heard. Which is the same day as Meadville again. Playing out. <laughs> it's like they planned it. Yeah. Also, Ring of Wonder for some reason. Um, here in Pittsburgh. But uh, yes. All right. Let's go. Let's go down the line here. Like, Kyle, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? What I learned from wrestling this week is there really can be a match that's shorter than Ruby Ride and Ronda Rousey at Elimination Chamber, Ooh. and that is Dean Ambrose and Drew McIntyre. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cornell, what about you? Uh, I learned that Becky Lynch hates Charlotte just as much as she hates the possibility of her knee recovering. It's <laughs> <laughs> not true. It's not true. Uh, what about you, Sam? I learned that somebody out there loves Kofi Kingston. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, hey! Really, well, Kofi no, I do too, but like somebody with power loves Kofi Kingston. <laughs> and that man okay. is God. <laughs> <laughs> somebody who controls the fates like, I don't know. The, yeah. <laughs> Road Dog. <laughs> it's him the whole time. Oh my God. Road Dog yeah. may just think he's our truth, guys. Yeah, it was a clencher in Elimination Chamber, Kofi, and oh my God. I just felt more empty. Kofi. Cool. Yeah. Bit. Actually, yes, I have. Uh, WrestleMania. Kofi is getting the shot at Fastlane. Oh, wait, is yeah, that? Sure. So that was announced on SmackDown. It is going to be Kofi and Daniel Bryan of Fastlane. Sweet. Oh, jeez. Yeah. In the six in the six man tag tonight, Kofi pinned Brian again. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'd be sad if they didn't do anything with him after God. the elimination chamber. I'm glad that all, they're like, all I want. For, I don't. I don't even care if he has a one month title reign. <laughs> I don't care. Something. With I him. want a Kofi Kingston champion rolling in with a WrestleMania entrance. <laughs> Yo. Oh. I, I imagine just, the people write in a giant world championship, like a magic carpet. It's a big pancake. <laughs> it's a big pancake. That's the belt. Either that, or like they'll have like like remember when John Cena had all the little Cenas line the ramp? <laughs> you have every incarnation of Kofi, like half of them <laughs> naked, half of them with <laughs> Evan Bourne. Like, <laughs> no. oh my god. Evan Bourne. Evan Bourne got a name drop last night. That was weird. Oh, yeah, like who? Really? I, 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 I don't <laughs> I even. That. It just came out of nowhere. But um. <laughs> anyways, uh, uh, from the chat room, Ty Cross learned that Kofi versus Brian needs to happen at Mania. Yeah, mm-hmm. of course we confer. Um, Alex learned that also learned that Lafayette is the kind of town that thinks you get WWE Network on cable. Mm-hmm. They still they're still <laughs> wondering, they're still wondering why they can't tune right. into that t- the WWE twenty four seven. Uh, Bobby of G-Town learned that last night's crowd deserved to watch a Lacey Evans TED Talk about a- <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait for it, wait for it but about the breeding habits of stink bugs or as their reactions led to crickets oh my god <laughs> now that's interesting though that's an issue um, Lacey Evans TED Talk that's a new title okay uh, Lacey Evans TED Talk Slam that's pretty good title well, it's either that or Satan in karate. So, um, we don't have a producer tonight. If you couldn't tell, uh, <laughs> oh, Potter, Potter, the Tiny Shutter Podcast, learned that Xavier Woods is amazing, uh, uh, strong, carrying Big E like a new bride. What? Yeah, <laughs> that, oh, that, that was backstage tonight? during SmackDown. Oh, yeah, they, uh, that happened on SmackDown. It's just that a, it's, on SmackDown. It, it is yeah. Xavier Woods <laughs> as Kofi's going on and on. It, it's Xavier Woods standing nearby, holding. Biggie like a baby while Biggie gives Kofi the side eye while eating pancakes. Aww. 
Jeez. Yep. <laughs> you can't make that. Um, he's extending a pancake a branch to his teammates. Yeah. Alex Miller learned that uh, Vince has a boat called the Sexy Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure that's, I think that's accurate. I'm not surprised, that's but true. it is funny. Or it's just one of those things that's so ridiculous that we believe it's true about Vince. I mean, why wouldn't it be? <laughs> oh, oh. Jeez. I'm believing that it's true until proven otherwise. I... <laughs> Wow. Uh, so he just accrues value from it. He keeps by having the name. <laughs> um, Brandon, Brandon, not the Brandon, the usual Brandon, I believe, uh, learned that the Raw still has low ratings. Mm-hmm. Ooh, even after that, mm-hmm. that sucks. And uh, Jerry learned that if you didn't watch Raw, you really didn't miss anything. Aww. There you go. He's in the bad mic camp. Um, I learned from wrestling this week. I'm, I'm, I'm blanking. I'm sorry. So much happened. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I learned you make sure make sure your your snow machine works when Glacier comes out. Yeah. Ooh. Otherwise, you know, magic's gone. Hey, uh, are, are we ever going to get Glacier versus Lady Frost? Is that oh that needs to that happen? Ooh. That needs to happen. By the way, I, I'm sure everything's happened by now. But good luck tonight. Um, I believe Lady Frost and Honey Badger both down at the Rise with an Eye event in Orlando. Uh, so I'm, I'm sure that's recording for their network and everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, so good luck to them. Um, we talked to Badger last night here. Uh, she was in studio last night uh, before she head out today, and uh, and uh, looking forward to see how that comes. Uh, taking on other friend of the show, Area Blake. That oh wow! We talked to um, a while ago on on the Indie Mayhem show. So uh, cool to see that kind of guy. Also, a friend of the show, Delilah Doom, made a debut at the uh, Las Vegas tapings for Impact Wrestling. Yeah, she's doing yeah. awesome. She's doing great stuff. Mm-hmm. Great stuff. So. Um, I think we interviewed her two or three years in a row of her career. So it may be overdue to get her and maybe Britt Baker while we still can. <laughs> so yeah, I know. <laughs> she's coming back. IWC she's rolling through month. town again. That's awesome. Rolling through so town. Good. We'll see what's going on. See if she'll, uh, she'll swing by the studio here. So Come on, and Dr. B. We are working on a few other things um, coming on here. Dr. B. Uh, <laughs> uh, some other, other people that are having last matches might be coming through the studio here if we can get everything lined up. Also... Um, Gray Wolf Raventhorn is going to be our interview for Indie Mayhem Show. We're going to be talking with him tomorrow night uh, live at, I believe, 9 p.m. Eastern on the uh, Indie Mayhem Show. Is he going to give you Game of Thrones spoilers? I don't know. You know, he, he, can't, like, he, he was announced. Like a Game of Thrones character. He was announced as from the land of ice and fire. That's fair. Okay. Yes. So he's, um, I don't know if you've seen the picture for the interview, sir. I have not. I just assume it's the mountain with fur. Uh, you know, that's not too far off. Uh, okay. so he was doing, uh, he's doing some really good, uh, YouTube videos too. Uh, and, uh, we saw him here a couple of times with, uh, RWA. So it'd be good to have a, a chat with him too. So, um, he's, he's going to be, if you like, like old, like powers of pain type guys, um, <laughs> and who doesn't, I mean, really, I mean, I mean, who doesn't, who doesn't like, like, uh, uh, that. So the barbarian and, uh, yeah. It checks all the nostalgia boxes. Exactly. So, no, he was doing some good stuff when we saw him through town. Uh, seen some stuff, good stuff online. I can't wait to have a chat with him. Thank you, our friends from Pit Fight. Once again, where can people find out about the show? When is the show? Where is the show? Uh, people can look on. We got a Facebook page. We got an Instagram and a Twitter. Uh, the Instagram and Twitter handles are Pit Fight 2019. And we have an event on Facebook called Pit Fight with an exclamation mark. Uh, the show is Thursday, March 7th. Doors open at 7. Uh, bell time is at 7.30. Tickets are $10 for adults, $5 for children, and pit students and children three and under are free. Uh, if you want to order tickets, go ahead and go over to pitfight2019 at outlook.com, and we'll get you sorted out. There you go. Go check it out. Can't wait to see how that turns out there. I, 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 I'm hoping people are sending me pictures while I when I land in uh, Fort Worth that night. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, mainstream Matt, one T on the Twitters. Thanks, Dork. Top guys. Top guys. Top out. guys. We will call out to our friend Dark Forge Studios. Um, dot co, who sponsors our Mayhem Mania board. He left already. Uh, uh Larry. Uh, also, Mad Mike four eighty three on the Twitter. And YouTube.com slash Poppy. That's right. And Garza. <laughs> but, uh, pl- you can go to. Oh. Plug your uh, shit. The rest, the rest <laughs> dot com, and you can go to go to fear for w online and, and read those uh impact wrestling recaps and tell your friends, oh my god, that guy that reviews impact those guys is really good. Can't, can't wait to hear your thoughts on Delilah Doom. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward <laughs> awesome awesome I, and i have another friend out there that was uh, uh behind the scenes uh and got to hang out with uh, impact for uh las vegas and it sounds like it was a pretty good time so thank you everybody for joining us for the show thank you chat room and we'll see you guys again again next tuesday for another fine evening of wrestling chatter and ch- chicanery uh, where maybe i'll uh, no english by that uh <laughs> we'll see you guys next time mayhem out This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.